First of all, congratulations to you. You have matriculated on your way to college, and you're looking pretty darn good, man. We've been we've been together a long time, and it's uh, made a lot of progress. A lot of things you're doing right. You get ever more athletic with the snap. You're getting ever more powerful and aggressive with it. I like what's happening. I want you to get more aggressive, more aggressive, more aggressive, get explosive. But I think going to college, uh, when you get out there with a the team and spend a year at that level, that's going to make it'd be a source of great progress for you as well. Okay. Um, the things we saw coming into camp today, we do know you're very tall, you have long limbs, okay? Uh, and we have to accommodate that, but we had a couple of things happen. Despite the length of the arms, you're still getting the ball a little too far out in front of you. You're overextended downfield. What that's going to do is pull too much weight forward. It's also going to pull the head and shoulders down low to the ground, restricting your operating room. It's going to constrict you and create a problem trying to accelerate the ball as aggressively as you can down through your body, okay? Uh, the other thing it does, you're trying to counterbalance that overextension because it pulls too much weight forward by hunkering back the weight into the hips, getting flat-footed and probably a little too deep in the knees. Beyond 90 degrees, you're not as explosive and powerful as you could possibly be. Okay, but you're overstretched in the musculature. It takes a lot of time and energy to unwind the legs as opposed to using those legs to drive and explode. Make sense? Okay. So what we essentially need to do. Uh, now they marked you down popping up early. Were you popping up early? I've never seen you pop up early. Okay, that may have been a mismark on your chart. So unless I see it, we're going to ignore that right now. Okay, but you're overstretched on the field by doing that. So you get too far forward. So you hunker back. You're just overstretched. What are you? Six five? Six four. Okay, you're setting up like you're six six. So we need to take that whole head to tail platform, elevate it a little higher off the ground. That'll take you vertically further from the ball, which will allow you to bring it a little closer while still preserving an excellent arm extension. Make sense? And then we need to shove the weight around to position the knees right over the toes for an optimal balance where you're on the balls of your feet and you can actually drive and explode back towards the hips and towards your target. Make sense? Capture that motion energy. All right, so go ahead and set up. You are a blind snapper? No. Why do they say drive head through? Maybe they wanted you trying to throw the head a little bit, but that can, that can also wig you out. So we'll just see what we needed here, okay? You ready? Yeah three-stepping it, okay? First thing I'm going to do is pull you forward, lean on the ball. That gets knee bend to 90 or less where we want it to be, straightens the back and fully extends the arms. Next thing I'm going to do is raise you up, maximizing operating room under the torso. Last thing I'm going to do is shove you back into the hips towards your target until the heels touch the ground, knees are over the toes, you're solid on your feet. Now notice it's back towards your target, not down towards the ground where we get you too deep, okay? Does that feel comfortable? You're looking solid. Let's get that head and shoulders in the front end a little higher. Can you see your target okay? Be aggressive, two-handed, aggressive throw. How'd that feel? Pretty solid. I had you down too long, so let's do that one more time. I'm a little talkative, Bradley. Have you figured that out over the years? I noticed that. Okay. So you were overstretched, hunkering down on the back to counterbalance. I elevated you and shortened you down a little bit, positioned you for optimal balance. Good, hard, two-handed throw. Where'd the ball go? Straight to your target, straight to the hip. A perfect setup will lead to a perfect snap because energy, when you're set up right and perfectly balanced, energy goes where it should. Motion energy down the spine through the hips to your target, up from the toes and balls of the feet into the hips about 20 degrees off of vertical. Those energies converge and combine in an arrow point. Wherever that arrow point is directed, that's where your ball's going to go. You're going to make it more spirally? Yeah, what's happening there? I hadn't seen you do that oh, no. before. Okay. Earlier today, mm -hmm. I was doing a spiral. I think you're gripping too hard. I yeah, think you may be leaning good. on the ball. Relax the grip a little bit. Really aggressively snap those wrists with thumbs to the sky at release, okay? Let's just see how you're looking now. Let's sit you into it a little bit. Feel comfortable? Yeah. Looks awesome. Relax your grip a little bit, but it's a two-handed throw for both control and power. There it is. Any questions? Looking we pretty have, good. Have like a DVD of this we can watch it. Uh, you're gonna be on YouTube. Oh, We're gonna send you a YouTube link. Okay, that's better. It's faster, it's easier, it's better production. Yeah. Uh, do you have any questions at this point? Nope. Okay, you're looking solid. Okay, we've got you more stable on the feet. We got your balance right, getting the knees over the toes, not overextended, vertically a little further from the ball. That's a really good looking setup. You feel comfortable? Yeah. Good hard two-handed throw for me. Get aggressive. Good job. Solid on. Feel comfortable? Get into it a little bit more. There you go. Good, hard, two-handed snap. Excellent job, sir. Excellent.